Ash from the Fabric Workshop and Museum. And today I wanted to share with you how to create your own parsemage print. I hope you'll follow along in this tutorial and that you'll share any project that you create using the hashtag FWM at symbol home. So thanks for watching. Here's an example of what a parsemage print can look like. This is using chalk pastel and charcoal. Another dried example using Conte crayon, charcoal, and chalk pastel. Here are some examples of different types of materials you can use. These are chalk pastels, compressed charcoal, any charcoal would do. This is a Conte crayon. I think you can use anything as long as it will create a dust. Sandpaper is a really nice um, medium to go ahead and create that dust. If you don't have sandpaper, you can easily um, just do it with paper. Here's a brush. It'll help collect some of that dust off the sandpaper. And over here we have just a, a kitchen baking pan. I filled it with about an inch of water. Some assorted paper. Just make sure to cut your paper so that it can actually fit inside of whatever pan you're using. And you want a heavyweight paper that can withstand water. And I've got a bunch of sheets of newsprint. You'll also notice another sheet of newsprint um, in the back where I can put prints to dry. If you don't have newsprint, you can use newspaper. And so I'm using the chalk pastels and sandpaper to go ahead and start creating my dust. And the brush is totally optional, but it gets all of the little particles out of those sandpaper crevices. You can just sprinkle it around. Some more chalk pastel. And you can use your breath or even a piece of string to go ahead and move some of those particles around the surface of the water. And let's go ahead and pick up your sheet of paper. And you're just gonna lightly place it on the surface of the water. You might get some air bubbles, but that's okay. And just tap each corner, make sure everything's gotten wet. And here is our first print. So you get a lot of wonderful variation and each print that you make is going to be completely unique. This is um, a sheet of parsimage printed paper that has dried. And so I just wanted to point out that you can continue to make and add to your prints but you do have to wait until they're dry. And I'm just folding them in the reverse way. 
so that you can get rid of that curve. And there you go, an added layer. In terms of next steps, once you've printed as many sheets of paper to your heart's desire, go ahead and when they are slightly dry, you can go ahead and stack them. Maybe put a piece of newsprint or newspaper in between and stack them underneath a heavy pile of books. And that'll really flatten them out for you. Um, you can continue to draw into these and respond to the forms that you see on the page. So I hope that you'll share these with us, um, either in the comments below or even on Instagram or Facebook using the hashtag FWM at symbol home. Thanks.